Coming up on Around Kern County, we're celebrating the completion of pedestrian path improvements at Roberts Lane and what this means for the Oildale community. And we're giving an exciting update on the success of our inaugural Career Expo when Around Kern County starts now. <laughs> Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We're beginning today with an exciting report about last weekend's Kern County Career Expo. More than 1,500 job seekers came through our doors and 250 people applied that day. We interviewed 150 people on the spot and hired 50 of them. Not to mention, we're still processing tons of applications. And if you applied, someone from our team should be reaching out to you soon. We are absolutely thrilled with the response we received at our event and are so proud of how many people have chosen to call our workforce home. So we had a great event this past Saturday, our Kern County Career Expo, first ever. Uh, we had a great turnout better than expected, better than anticipated, and our team really knocked it out of the park. Well, it's so exciting to see our community respond to the job openings that we have here in Kern County. We had so many job opportunities available. We had nearly a thousand people at the event, hundreds and hundreds of job seekers, and we even interviewed and offered jobs on the spot. If you missed our Career Expo, don't worry. Our limited duration opportunities application is still open. You can apply now on our website, kerncounty.com careers. We'd like to thank our applicants, media partners, and community for their support, and would especially like to welcome our new Kern County employees to our team. Your future here is boundless. Fall is in the air, which means it's time for the Kern County Fair. Our departments are taking advantage of the change in seasons to spend time with residents outdoors. Human Services is one of our departments with a booth at the fairgrounds, which will be open throughout the entire event. From passing out important information about local resources to providing education about their services, DHS says this is a great way to connect with our community. We serve over half the population of Kern County with our resources. And we are a community that is very generous, but there's also a lot of needs. And so it's super important that people know the resources available to them. And that's what our department wants to do. So if you come out to the fair, come by our booth. We're in building two, 269, right near the front. And we have all kinds of fun things to give to you. We also want you, if you're looking for a job, we're hiring. And we want to provide resources to you if you need them. So come check us out. Other county departments are also on hand at the fair, including Kern County Public Works. They have staff available to answer questions and are educating the community about their online reporting tool for potholes, illegal dumping, and road sign repairs. You can learn more about that resource by visiting kernpublicworks.com. We're highlighting the completion of an exciting project at Roberts Lane. Kern County Public Works completed their pedestrian path project at the Rasmussen Senior Center and celebrated with a ribbon cutting. Supervisor Mike Maggard requested these renovations due to the community's need for infrastructure and pedestrian safety. This project installed nearly half a mile of sidewalk improvements to bring access and ADA accessibility to Oildale residents. We put in the infrastructure to make this neighborhood and this street safer, and that's what we're celebrating today. Thank you to our Public Works Department, to Supervisor Mike Maggard, and to the Kern County Planning Department uh, for helping to fund the project. This investment will help the Oildale community better access resources within their area. Congratulations on this exciting project coming to a successful close. And we're ending today with Kern County leaders coming to an area near you. They've been visiting unincorporated areas throughout our community to host educational workshops about Measure K. Measure K is Kern County's unincorporated public safety, vital services, and local control measure. If enacted, it would establish a one cent locally dedicated and controlled sales tax in unincorporated Kern only. 
to address community priorities, such as public safety, homelessness, attracting jobs and industries, and addressing mental health and addiction challenges. Unincorporated residents will consider Measure K on the November 8, 2022 ballot. Here is how you can get involved. Chief Administrative Officer Ryan Alsop, Chief Operations Officer Jim Zervis, Sheriff Johnny Youngblood, District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer, and Fire Chief Aaron Duncan will be in Boron Wednesday, September 28th, the Mexican Colony South Shafter area Thursday, September 29th, Rosedale Monday, October 3rd, and Bakersfield Country Club Tuesday, October 4th. To view more upcoming workshops, including our virtual meetings, please visit our website, kerncounty.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you next time.